What is sustainability? Well, it has to do with how day-to-day -day life may be different in the future because of choices we make today. Really, sustainability can mean many things. At the University of Calgary, our definition is rooted in one of the most common definitions of sustainability as outlined by the Brundtland Commission. Meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. In other words, as many Indigenous peoples of Canada have long held, we must consider the impact of our decisions on the next seven generations. As time passed, this definition evolved to include three pillars – economy, society, and environment. We now understand these dimensions are nested and interdependent. Economy is at the center because it is dependent on the health of the other two dimensions. It includes the human systems that create day-to-day -day life as we know it, and almost everything we buy, trade, and develop, most of which comes from finite natural resources. The systems that convert resources into food, shelter, ideas, technologies, industries, services, money, and jobs are included. Society is the next system because its health dictates the stability of the economy, but is also dependent on a healthy and stable environment. It includes social conditions that shape our collective lives, governance systems, educational and healthcare institutions, our culture and norms, and much more. This dimension directly contributes to our individual and collective well-being and quality of life. Finally, there is the environment. It includes all of the natural ecological systems and resources upon which life on Earth depends. Everything from a stable atmosphere and climate, to food, clean air and water, natural resources, biodiversity and pollinator services are included. The environment is in the outermost circle because it enables our society and our economy. So how do we put this into practice? Look at these three apples. Pretty similar, right? Looking from an environmental, social, or economic point of view shows details that may change your mind. Using a lens of sustainability, you can better consider your decision and its impacts. Recently, changes in the definition and framework of sustainability led to the creation of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. These 17 global goals were adopted in an historic UN summit in 2015, when Canada and 193 other world leaders committed to them. The SDGs are meant for implementation at global, national, and local levels. They are all interconnected and recognize that ending poverty must go hand in hand with strategies that build economic growth and address a range of social needs, including education, health, social protection, and job opportunities, while tackling climate change and environmental protection. These SDGs apply to all, and between now and 2030, countries, companies, organizations, and communities around the world will mobilize efforts to end poverty, fight inequalities, and tackle climate change while ensuring no one is left behind. Now it's your turn. To learn more and consider how you might help to advance the goal most important to you, visit the UCalgary Sustainability website.